Begum and Fabi in Toronto. Hi Fabi, you had a great round to start with uh, white pieces against Hikara and it seemed like you were very close to win the game. How are you feeling about the game? I felt like I was close to winning at, at one particular moment. And uh, to, to be honest, before that I didn't feel like my winning chances would be maybe super high. But then he went for something which felt wrong. And I suddenly felt like my just my feeling, like without even calculating stuff, I just had a feeling that I should be much, much better. Um, but he was playing very quickly, putting pressure on the clock, and I couldn't really figure out how to play it. Um, yeah. So let's go to the game. Uh, he said you missed rook f2 after rook b5. Rook f2 move is that correct? No, I, I saw it was a move. I just thought like rook bd5, and how can it work for black? Um, yeah, it seems like your position is winning. What was the point when you couldn't like figure out what to move? Is that after queen before? Yeah, I felt like it was here, but king g2 is a good move. It's just, mm -hmm. it's very tricky because it's not like I have a clear cut way to win this or something. It's just mm -hmm. that I need to trade rooks, which yeah. probably is correct. Although Hikaru mentioned rook b1, and it's also a very tricky try. Maybe it was like one of the better tries, but. Yeah, I see the computer just wants to play a4, which I did kind of vaguely consider. Mm -hmm. But then I was thinking, like, after a4, he would play g6. Mm -hmm. And then he would stop rook f5. And that's why I wanted to trade rooks. Yeah. Even the, the engine is saying plus two, it's not easy to play at all, especially when you have less time on the clock, which is very understandable. So it felt like you, you were stuck a little bit here, and then we don't uh, have any increment. Did it affect your, like, moves? Yeah, I think the... My decision to play rook f5 was partly because I wanted to simplify the position a bit to make it easier for me to play when I get low on time. Um, to be honest, I don't know like how easy it is uh, to to play this in practice. Like, let's say I play a4 and he plays g6, and I I did consider this like maybe I play a5, but then I wasn't sure because he play he gets his rook active like rook e8, and then my king is also a bit weak. So to actually prove this in practice, I mean I have to say that. Um, Hikaru's like decision to play bishop b2 here very, very quickly yep. without thinking um, is like very, very strong practically. A, a lot of players would have would have started to think more and more, gotten low on time, and then uh, and then they're also in time trouble. And then it makes my job easier as well. So he really kept the pressure up. And yeah, at this moment, I, yeah, what I didn't quite realize is that I can't get my rook active. If I get my rook to seventh rank, I just win this position, most likely. But I can't quite do it, and uh, here I guess the, it's already... It's very close to you. Yeah, so rook f5 is like why my one moment maybe in the game yeah. that I could have done something. It, it was also the moment that we both felt, me, felt immediately after. Mm -hmm. He mentioned rook b1 here, and I also felt like rook f5 is probably where I went wrong. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, what to do? It's not an easy moment. Definitely. And the six happen, especially it's the first round only, and he's a very practical player. Do you think it's a good pairing for you to start with with uh, white pieces against Hikaru and uh, getting such a great uh, position helps your confidence? Like I, I think it's sort of a neutral game overall, like maybe a bit more d disappointing than anything else. I generally prefer not to start with white in the tournament like this because you don't know anyone's opening preparation. So with black you can be a bit more reactive mm -hmm. and with white you actually have to prove something but you don't know where your opponent's but going to go. Did prove something. <laughs> Yeah, Almost. yeah. Well, Hikaru also surprised me very much with his opening choice. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like a great opening choice. Yeah. Uh, it did work out in terms of making a draw, but you're always on the back foot. So I don't see the upside for black. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it also is an approach to like take your opponent completely out of their comfort zone. You get a dubious position, but you're up on time and it did work out. So you can't really criticize it. But it's, <laughs> it's one of those approaches that um, that can also not work out. Definitely. And thank you very much for your time, Fabi, uh, and good luck with the next rounds. Thank you.